What do we know about neutron stars? Neutron stars are the stellar corpses left behind when a massive star goes supernova. In fact, they are unimaginably dense. A normal-sized matchbox containing neutron star material would have a weight of approximately 3 billion tons. The entire mass of the Earth at neutron star density would fit into a sphere of 300 meters in diameter. And while the mass range of neutron stars has been relatively well constrained over the years, it's been harder to pin down precisely how wide they are. Most astronomers, however, think that the mass is packed into a sphere about as big as a city. Neutron stars are also the hottest stars possible. The temperature inside range from 1 million degrees Celsius up to 1 trillion degrees Celsius and the surface temperatures over around 600,000 degrees Celsius. Now a new study has combined gravitational wave measurements with other techniques to place the best constraints yet on their size. The estimate suggests that a typical neutron star is about 13.7 miles across or 22 kilometers. That size has interesting implications for what happens when they get too close to another of the cosmos' most mysterious objects, black holes. The new size results indicate a black hole can swallow a neutron star whole, in many circumstances leaving behind little evidence that astronomers can uncover with conventional telescopes. A team led by researchers at the Albert Einstein Institute in Germany took those observations and then combined them with models of how subatomic particles behave in the extremely dense conditions inside neutron stars. While it's impossible to recreate such conditions in labs on Earth, the physicists show that they could use the existing theory to extrapolate their calculations from the tiniest scales out to what's happening in the distant neutron stars. Their results suggest that neutron stars must be between 13 and 15 miles across or 21 to 24 kilometers and the typical neutron star should be about 13.7 miles wide or 22 kilometers. But how neutron stars form? Massive stars explode when they exhaust their gases used for nuclear fusion. As a violent outburst of material erupts in all directions, what's left behind condenses into a neutron star. If star is massive enough, the remnant can further condense into a black hole. But solitary stars, like our Sun, are in the minority in our universe. Most stars exist in multiple systems, and when two large stars evolve side by side, these alien solar systems can end with two neutron stars, two black holes, or one of each. In recent years, astronomers have started detecting these systems thanks to the gravitational waves thrown out when they death spiral into one another. And that's how astronomers recently made an extremely accurate measurement of a neutron star size. In 2017, the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory in the United States and the Virgo detector in Italy picked up a gravitational wave signal that implied two neutron stars has collided some 120 million light years away. Soon after, traditional observatories started seeing these collisions in electromagnetic wavelengths. Those detections carried unprecedented insights into the mass and spin of the objects. That diminutive diameter is small enough that a neutron star orbiting in tandem with a black hole could even be swallowed entirely when it gets too close. Astronomers have been eagerly watching for black hole neutron star collisions. They expected these mergers would emit strong electromagnetic radiation, the kind of light visible by typical observatories back on Earth. However, according to the new study, if the neutron star isn't shredded when the two merge, then no light would be emitted that Earth-based observatories could detect. At the same time, gravitational wave detectors also likely wouldn't be able to tell the difference between merging black holes and a mixed merger. Scientists have shown that in almost all cases, the neutron star will not be torn apart by the black hole and rather swallowed whole. Only when the black hole is very small or rapidly spinning 
can it disrupt the neutron star before swallowing it, and only then can we expect to see anything besides gravitational waves. But astronomers shouldn't have to wait too long to find out if this idea is right. The world's gravitational detectors will grow increasingly powerful in the coming years. If neutron star black hole collisions prove rare than expected, at least they will know why.